What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna have a cool video for you. Today we're gonna be talking about maybe the best carry gun in the world. I'm not gonna really call this a review, partly because of all of the actual personal interest I have in the firearm. Usually when we do reviews on the channel, it's about a third party that I have no connection with whatsoever that I bought the gun, usually via patron dollars, and I appreciate that by the way. But this one is not gonna be that. This is actually the Atlas Gunworks Ares. Now, you guys have probably seen this on the channel a few times, but probably not in a lot of detail. And the reason for that is because it's been in continual testing over the past year or so. I shot the FBI uh, qualifying course with it. I shot the uh, United States Air Marshal qualification course with it. And we were able to pass that with this. So uh, it does improve marksmanship a great deal. Now this gun is a kind of, not, I wouldn't say collaboration with Atlas Gunworks, uh, but I do know Adam, the owner over there pretty well. And we did have a discussion on Instagram a while back about making sort of a Glock 19, Glock 17 style of 2011. Something that has super high end parts, super high end performance. It'll be the same weight and comfortability as far as carry goes. It'll be about the same size, but it will perform extremely well. So imagine the world's best duty gun is kind of what we were trying to create. Over the course of a few months, going back and forth, going through different examples, going through different features on guns that I liked and disliked, this is pretty much what we came up with. Thousands of rounds of invested time trying to figure out what tracks better, what's most reliable, and what's the best size for concealed carry, but also then flex into everything. When it matches, if you wanted it to, like in two gun or three gun, but it was light enough to carry all day, that would also be reliable and durable enough for duty use. I think we've achieved that here with the Atlas Ares. The gun was created and designed around having no price point whatsoever, which just kind of leads me into my next thing. We're actually gonna be giving one of these away. Uh, so the MSRP of this is $6,000, but they're essentially unattainable. Very few of them were ever made, and that makes it the price go higher and higher and higher. I know it seems kind of crazy, but on average, you're gonna see these guns for 6,500 and up if you find them anywhere. We actually have a brand new one that we plan on giving away through GetEnterToWin.com. I talked to Eric who works over there and we've done a couple of giveaways already with the John Wick guns and this time I wanted to do something that was like really close to my heart and maybe a gun that I've wanted to get out in the public for a while that people just don't have access to so we decided to go with this one. So we have a brand new 4.6 version of the Ares that's going to be even better than this one in my personal opinion. Uh, the 4.6 is the best slide length for a 2011 so that's why we chose Shows that and on top of that it's gonna be brand new for you now you can enter the giveaway by following the directions on the website we're gonna leave a link below in the description and on the screen and all kinds of places so you can easily find it when you go to the website if you want to get entered automatically to the giveaway all you got to do is pick up a collectible item like a mug or a mat we have new customized uh, collectible items for each giveaway part of the money goes to building our new range we appreciate all the support we got last time we're about halfway there so we appreciate that the other part of it goes to the stay safe foundation which is a veteran-led nonprofit that supports veterans maintaining positive mental health through community fitness, mentoring, and camaraderie. I really like this cause and I really appreciate you guys supporting it. So it's kind of a win-win for us. Not only do you guys get entered into a giveaway for a gun that's not only expensive, but in my opinion, amazing and incredibly hard to get, but it also goes to some pretty good causes as well. So if you're interested in the giveaway, please go down to the link in the description and sign up. That being said, we're gonna talk about the gun anyway. This is a 4.25 inch commander frame sized 2011 pistol. Even though it's got a commander length slide, it actually has a little bit shorter grip, which is one of the hardest things to conceal. So what we've done here is we've gone with the 16 round magazine that flush fit into the gun. So you have a, a lot less to conceal than your average 2011. Think kind of on the lines of the same size of grip as this Takato C2. A little bit bigger than that and a little more ergonomic. The grip itself is made by Alice Gunworks, so they made this grip, they designed it. Uh, no grip safety there, uh, so you can get much higher on the beaver tail. The beaver tail is very long, so you can get very high on the gun. This entire gun is meant to shoot very, very fast, as you can see in the footage. We've got the uh, Low Pro Ambi uh, 45 degree uh, safeties here, so they're up a little bit higher than a normal 2011 or 1911 would be, which allows you more space for your support hand. You get higher with your left hand, which helps control the 
recoil, and that's very, very nice. We also have a drilled and tap magazine release there that's amazing, obviously, as you can see there. It doesn't have any extended part on it or anything like that, but you can put it on there if you want. Personally, I don't like extended magazines on my gun, so that's why it came like this, because, well, I picked the damn features. Uh, we have a flat face trigger from Atlas Gunworks that you can get anywhere from four pounds on down to whatever you want. This one's set at three and a half because it is my uh, inside the waistband rig, and I don't want a super light trigger for that, but the, the trigger break is extremely short and the reset is shockingly short, which is why the uh, rate of fire on this gun is so fast. And the little bit heavier trigger, you're gonna get more reliable hits on primers, and on top of that, you're gonna get a little more of a uh, assisted push on your finger. So even though it's maybe a pound heavier than a standard like Atlas Gunworks or something like that, you're still gonna have amazing accuracy because it's gonna be way lighter than any fulcrum trigger you've ever felt. And it's also gonna have a really fast reset. The 4.25 inch is unbelievably light recoil, even without it. Partly because the 4.25 is a great length for a 9mm 2011, because it has a little bit uh, less slide mass than a 5 inch. Not only is it easier to conceal, but it actually reciprocates faster and shoots faster, in my opinion. On top of that, we added ports on the top here that reduce the recoil a great deal, while still maintaining a great sight picture, because I wanted them on the top out the sides, as opposed to right up on the top here, so it didn't blind you at all in the optic, and the ports actually go out to the sides so even if you were to experience any issues at night which you don't normally with ported guns let's say you had super super hot ammo uh, it's still gonna go out to the sides and not impede your vision SRO mount with uh, co-witness sights that you can actually see through the optic and uh, Atlas has tons of different plates so whatever optic you want to use hollow sun whatever you can use that skeletonized hammer and every single part in this is going to be absolutely pristine all right now we've got the features of the gun covered let's talk about some of the performance so in the reliability test in this gun I think we have well over a thousand rounds now including an actual two gun match and I've had one malfunction and that was ammunition related now the gun itself is shockingly reliable and it dismisses a lot of the 2011 issues that most people claim. The new modern 2011s that use the staccato uh, pattern Gen 2 magazines and on top of that guns from like Atlas Gunworks that are not tuned by just some guy you met somewhere. These people make these guns for a living and in my opinion Adam over at Atlas Gunworks is one of the best gun makers in the world. Because of that you're not only going to get great reliability but you're going to get good reliability with hollow points as well. But hell you can get reliability with a Glock but I just wanted to make sure that this works. Now what are you going to get for your money? Well, what you're going to get is about two inches at 50 yards accuracy, which is absolutely incredible. Not only is the gun mechanically accurate at that distance, but the interface with the gun is going to be amazing as well. Because you can high ride the gun, you get very, very low recoil. Because the ports are there, you get even lower recoil. Because the slide is perfectly tuned and perfectly sprung, along with the hammer and everything into one cohesive package, it has some of the lowest recoil you'll ever feel on a handgun. The accuracy itself is is easy to achieve with the SRO, the amazing sights, and then obviously one of the best triggers on the market. The 2011 has probably the best trigger in the world, and Atlas Gunworks guns have the best triggers in 2011s. It's hard to believe until you've actually felt it, but you really need to give it a try. So you're gonna get extreme accuracy, extreme speed, extreme reliability, and very, very low recoil, so you can train with the gun a long period of time. If you're like me and gets a little arthritis -y in your hands, and after a couple hundred rounds, it's hard to shoot, a port gun is very, very nice. You can shoot all day and not care at all. Well, unless you're considering your bank account, of course. But that being said, the gun's very fun. Now, as far as magazine compatibility, we saw no issues with any of the 2011 mags, and that's kind of the point. Uh, the mags you're gonna get with it are gonna be a 16 round flush fit mag, which are gonna be easy to carry. And then you can also use any of the other Staccato or Atlas magazines or anything like that. And you can go anywhere from 16 rounds all the way up to 27 rounds. So capacity on these guys is not an issue like in the old days with the 1911. Still an overall very thin and concealable platform. I didn't want to put anything extra big on it. We don't have any extended safeties or any extended mag releases. That way it's flush fit with the gun so you can carry it very comfortably. Um, the performance on this cannot be understated, in my personal opinion. I did the Dickens drill with this. Okay, that was 10 rounds and 6.99. That's pretty impressive, but really the impressive thing with this, I used to carry this with my carry gun a lot, and I stowed my carry gun in favor of my match gun during the two gun match, and we had some issues with my match gun, so I busted this out and used this, 
and I still managed to get third in a two-gun match uh, with my concealed carry gun. Uh, very light, very fast, very accurate, dead nuts at 25 yards and beyond, and overall the performance is exactly what I wanted it to be. That being said, I didn't want to do a full review of it just simply because I felt like it was a little bit of a conflict of interest, so I just kind of wanted to do a highlight video saying I really like it. Overall, compared to something like a Staccato C2 or maybe a Prodigy or something along the lines of the Commander Frame 2011, what are you going to get with the higher price? Well, you're going to get blended features, so if you shoot it forever, you're never going to have any wear points on your hands. You're going to get pin grip safety. You're going to get in a uh, more comfortable, more textured uh, grip. You're going to get a much better trigger and much better uh, hand fitting overall that you're going to get from a higher quality company like Atlas Gunworks. And I know the MSRP of 6000 is a lot but as you can see with all it's on par with all the other Alice Gunworks guns it just is what it is if you want to get a gun from one of the best manufacturers sometimes you got to pay the cost and again if you don't want to pay the cost it's actually pretty easy to get one of these just go down to the description and sign up for the giveaway. GetInterWin.com is gonna have this giveaway going on from today. As soon as you see this video, you can sign up until March 29th at 11.59 p.m. We're gonna give you an update video on the day that it's over, but between now and then, if you're interested in this gun, I'd recommend signing up. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.